hi, my name is Nasreen and I'm the chef and owner of Jazzy's Organic Afghan Fusion here at Spice Bridge. And today I'll be preparing Burani Bonjon, traditionally the way it's made in Afghanistan. Normally we use, I don't know, I, I believe these are Italian eggplants. <laughs> um, I like gloving up for these because they do stain your hand. For this dish, um, I like to get the bitterness out of the eggplant. And one of the ways to do that is to salt them and set them aside for about half an hour or so. If you do leave it longer than two hours, it does get rubbery for some reason. So, you know, kind of plan ahead a little bit to make sure, because I've done it. I've, <laughs> I've left it um, longer than that. Cut them about half an inch and then um, And this end part, I actually love. It tastes really, really good. So I won't throw that away. I'll just um, clean it up a little bit. And then I, I'll create these um, slots right there so that the flavors can seep in there. And then you kind of have to salt it pretty heavily. Um, so you can either uh, have a bowl of salt and just dab each one and then set it um, on a container. So I'll show you, I have some that's been salted for about half an hour. And you can see that the bitterness or the water, eggplant has a lot of water that it's, it retains. So all that water has um, been pulled out of it and it, you know, that bitterness. We're gonna go ahead and move on from there. I'm gonna grab some paper towels to set those ones on so they can dry up a bit. So we'll take these and set them on paper towel um, like so. And layer it with another. Give it a little push. This is two eggplants. So we're preparing um, as a side dish, it'll be enough for at least three, four people. As a main dish, I would say maybe two. <laughs> and then from this point, we'll go ahead and heat up some oil on our skillet and we'll fry both sides of the eggplant gonna have it at, um, at a medium high heat and I'm using um, avocado oil and this is what we use here at Jazzy's um, for all our dishes uh, uh, it's got a high heat um, it won't burn on you basically so I'm gonna go ahead and start bringing some of the eggplants over I think my oil is hot enough you don't want it to be too hot um, yep, it's perfect. It's sizzling. Just, and you just kind of leave it for about a minute and a half on each side. It just soaks up the oil. <laughs> Sometimes you might need to add a little bit more. There's so many different varieties of eggplant and I feel that eggplant is one of those, um, vegetables that it's underused and I hope that you know people will start incorporating it into their dishes in Afghanistan we don't consume a lot of meat meat is considered um, a luxury kind of when when you have guests or company that's when you prepare meat dishes but on a typical day you're making vegetarian dishes and you're having it with bread, rice, or salad, something like that. So, brownie bonjon is very common to have for lunch. Um, and I, I love it because it's just so fulfilling and satisfying for me. And um, it's got that meaty texture in it too. 
um, they're a little translucent and the, the brown color, like if you give it a slight poke, it'll just, you know, it'll, yeah, it gets really soft. Okay, so these guys are almost done. So this is um, gonna go in the oven and the sauce to be cooked further. So it doesn't need to be like all the way cooked. As long as you get that um, golden crispness on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold these out. For this recipe, I have yellow onion, garlic, and bell peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and saute the onions and garlic first so so we'll add the onion first and saute that for a few minutes before we add the garlic and okay so at this point I'll go ahead and add um, the garlic and bell pepper spices as well uh, I got a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of turmeric and a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, a teaspoon of coriander. And then I'll go ahead and use some tomato sauce as well. You guys might have noticed I didn't use any salt um, in the sauce because the eggplant itself was salted heavily at the process when I was trying to get rid of the bitterness. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And I'm just gonna let these cook. So I'm gonna because we have a small amount of eggplant, I'm gonna just go ahead and place them in this casserole dish. You can have a casserole dish, or um, if you want, you can put them all back in, in the skillet. But I'm gonna just do mine over here there in the casserole dish. And I'm gonna take my sauce and pour it over the eggplant. I'm gonna cover this with um, some foil. And then this will go in the oven for about half an hour to 40 minutes at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna set this for about half an hour. And there it goes. Usually eggplant is served in Afghanistan typically with some sort of bread, salad, or sometimes rice, but most, most of the time it's bread. So you want to make your own fresh bread go for it <laughs> i'm just gonna serve mine here with some bread and salad so and then there's a yogurt topping that goes on it garlic yogurt sauce so we'll go ahead and um, make the garlic yogurt sauce at this point so i have um like two pieces of garlic clove with some himalayan salt um just gonna crush this for our yogurt sauce. And you can definitely use a garlic presser or <laughs> food processor or I just um, I'm used to doing it this way when it's just a small amount. Now we'll go ahead and place our yogurt and it's plain yogurt, whole yogurt. 
possible. The richer, the better. Set that aside. So this is a simple salad, you know, in Afghanistan call it salata. Salata could be as simple as like just onions and tomatoes and maybe an herb. Um, or you could add other things like bell pepper, cabbage, you know. Right now I just have uh, tomatoes, cucumber, red onions, and um, mint and cilantro. We don't use a ton of different dressings in Afghanistan, it's just simply Salt and lemon is our dressing. Um, and then I have a serrano pepper because I like, I like my stuff spicy. Smells good. And then we're gonna top it with this garlic yogurt sauce. some mint. Mint and yogurt is on almost every dish in Afghanistan. Right now we're we have fresh mint available but you can certainly use dry mint. Uh, our eggplant, our salad and I'm gonna grab some naan and serve it with any type of bread, honestly, it tastes amazing. I have some Indian naan here, or the lavash, um, or even baguette. I hope this is something people will try at home and enjoy.